Tonight is March the 25th, 2014. I've been getting some new tubes in lately to play with and I want to share them with you. Uh, the first one's up. I'm going to test in this uh, Dynaco again. That's my test bed. I'm leaving the old uh, original style 6AN8 driver board in it. It's got a very got the very best hand selected uh, 6AN8 I have out of uh, 15 or 16 that I have. Does a really good job. All new components, hand selected, every one of them. So the driver board's in really good shape. Uh, the t first two tubes I'm going to test that I'm really quite impressed with is this brand right here. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm not even going to try. But they're really nice looking tubes. They uh, they look like they have the style of the old uh, GE. But look at this. This is quite impressive. There's the uh, plate current of uh, V1. We'll do this tube, then we do this tube. There's the plate current of V1, uh, about 66 milliamps. There's the screen current, 4 milliamps. There's the plate current of the second tube, exactly the same. This is a Hero with 66 milliamps. The screen current is 4 milliamps. Now I call that a match pair. That is really nice. I'm impressed. Very impressed. Well, we're going to test these two. I've already done it, of course, but uh, I want to show you how they turn out. They turn out very good. They turn out as, as good as, as any I've seen, including the old vintage ones. And then after this, I'll check these uh, high dollar Telefunkins. I don't remember the price of these. I think these were about 30 bucks a piece. And these are 80 bucks a piece. But I'm impressed with these two. But, but let me show you first. Let me get it set up. I got to put the tubes back in there and uh, take them out of the tester. But I just wanted to show you that uh, they're the same. That's a, that's a nice match pair. Just got them in uh, yesterday, I believe it was. Let's see how they perform. All right. Next up are the uh, Telefunkins. These guys right here. See, they give you the plate current and the. Uh, gain of each tube and they measure let's see that one oh yeah by the way I'm, I'm adjusting the bias in each case here to exactly uh, 1.4 volts which is 70 milliamps 140 milliamps is what Dynaco wants you to have I don't have that <clears throat> one point something of another resistor in this amplifier anymore I have a precision 10 ohm resistor in the cathode circuit so you want to adjust it for 1.4 volts instead of that 1.56 I think the original one was 11.2 ohms if you do the math you'll see they turn out to be the same so uh, I'm, I'm setting them for a 140 milliamps and this one is measuring about 65 let's see that's V1 uh, 65 milliamps screen of uh, about three and a half 3.5 milliamps and V2 is measuring a bit higher about 70 almost 74 let's get, call it 74 74 milliamps these aren't near as um, as balanced are they screen current is a 3.4 3.4 milliamps hard right one hand yeah the plate current is uh, is reasonable a bit different but that's what we got to go with and then last but not least let's test a uh, set of old uh, tungsol jan tubes made back in the 70s I'm gonna get them out We'll plug them in. I have to. I'm going kind of slow here because I have to let these things cool. I don't want to damage my new tubes from jerking them out while they're nice and hot. I think that's a bad idea. I think it's good to let them let them cool uh, before pulling them out. Okay. <clears throat> now we have the Tungsol uh, Jan 6550s. Looks like they were made about 1969. And uh, 
this one measures and again I've adjusted it to uh, that one's just a hair over 1.4 volts let's uh, tweak it back down so we're doing everything at the same place one point 1.4 volts I guess uh, uh, 140 milliamps if you add all of these plate and screen currents up they come up to 140 or something very close okay V1 let's see we have uh, 70 um, 73 milliamps and the screen is 5.8 and V2 is oh that's about 59 milliamps with a screen of uh, 5 5 milliamps so the ones that are perfectly matched are, are these guys right here the telefunkins are pretty close the uh, tongue saws are well that's what I got from 1969 I guess that's okay for 46 years old so so let's test them this is not going to be you know the test of all tests and 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 the teller of all things but uh, we'll, we'll test them and, and let's see how they turn out we'll plot them all uh, on one screen so we can compare them really really easy I'll uh, put them all up to 50 watts that's what I'm planning on doing okay we're gonna begin the first test with the uh, the these Chinese tubes here then we'll test the telefunken and then we'll test the uh, tongue saw because uh, they're still cooling so uh, let's get started uh, reference level okay yes and let's see what it looks like there's that darn glare again well that's not bad huh uh, less than 0.4 percent at 20 Hertz I think what I'll do is stop it here so that you're not just watching this thing run and after I uh, run all three of them we'll look at it again the first one is uh, the yellow trace I don't remember how they go but I'll write it down so I don't mix it up this is the Chinese tubes then we'll do the telefunken and then we'll do the tongue saw so let's see how they turn out here in the end and uh, we'll check them out we'll show you the harmonic profile right here these are those new Chinese tubes that big one the big pulse is the fundamental well there it stopped okay let's look at it not bad about what I expect out of uh, this amp oh just under 0.4 percent down here at 20 Hertz at 20 kilohertz it's about 0.9 percent it's going a little past out here to 25 kilohertz but we'll only check it to the 20 kilohertz this line right here not bad so let's try some let's do the uh, the um, telefunken okay up next are these telefunken I'll start them and I'll tell you uh, the amount of bias adjustment I'm having to make right here this uh, bias adjustment to make them 140 milliamps that one's 145 uh, is just really nominal the, all, all three sets of these tubes are just just amazingly uh, amazingly close really nice I'm really impressed let's start it and it will be the um, let's see what which one it'll be blue line looks like it starts out with a tiny little anomaly there that's a program anomaly there it's coming that's the way lit finishes now and I'll come back looks like it's doing a bit better huh okay look at this I mean it's almost the same it's the blue line here is the telefunken it's a little bit less just a little bit 
until it gets out here to about oh, 10, 9, about 9 kilohertz, <clears throat> and then it becomes the same, and it, and it just directly overlays the yellow line. Practically the same thing. Tiny bit better. Alright, let's try the, the old USA tongue saws now. Okay, now we've got the uh, the old Jan tongue saws in there. And they've warmed up nicely. Got it set back to 1.4 volts, which is uh, 140 milliamps. I'm not trying to keep you in the dark. I'm just trying to keep the glare down when I go over there. Um, so let's try it. Let's start it out and see what color trace it does. Okay, it's going to be the pink one. Oops, it's starting out a little higher, isn't it? It's starting out at 0.6. Of course, I'm going to give them a little bit of a break. They are 46 years old. But they're coming down quickly. Again, it's it's pretty amazing how little I had to uh, touch the uh, bias up on each one. It's coming down. Yeah, that's this line right here. I, I think it's it's pink here. I think it's showing up pink in the in the camera. This one's yellow. This one's blue and this one's pink. This was the the new Chinese, this was the Telefunken, and this is the Tung Sols. Look there. It's, it's overlaying that blue trace of the uh, of the Telefunken right there. It's a good thing uh, I guess we're looking at these as, as they happen. Since they're right on top of each other. The high end's the same on two of them. Be interesting to see how this one turns out. Looks like it might be ever so slightly higher. They're all below 1%, even out here at 20 kilohertz. Well, that one's right at 1% exactly. So there you go. Some uh, new made Chinese tubes. Actually, the uh, Telefunken, I believe, are made by JJ. I think they're just uh, the cream of the crop of the JJ's. They, they, they sure, certainly look like them, and they say something about in cooperation with JJ. So there you go. For all practical purposes, they're the same. Actually slightly better than the old tongue saws, but like I say, you know, it's a 46-year-old tube. So there you go. For what it's worth, like I say, this is not the, the tell-all, end-all of everything, but... Um, I do the best I can at documenting this. I actually think these uh, these tubes that the Chinese and the Russians are making are, are getting better. I'm kind of impressed with them. I mean, they're really matched. I'll have to give them some good feedback here. Okay, hope you enjoy. I hope this helps. And I hope it uh, has some value. There is one tiny thing that I will say. I almost forgot. Uh, the tung saws and the uh, telefunkens they're still pretty hot have very nicely rounded pins right here and they plug in very, very easy these guys do not that is one rock I can throw at these tubes as beautiful and as balanced as they may be as well as they perform uh, you got to be kind of careful this wants to <laughs> these things want to hang on the corner of the uh, of the socket they're both that way they're a little difficult to plug in you know, these and the tongue saws are just as smooth as glass that's the only thing that it's only a criticism I've, I've got of them they're actually uh, quite nice looking nice getter anyway so it is